Hello, folks. Welcome to tonight's game. This one's going to be good between the Charleston Southern Buccaneers and the North Carolina Tar Heels. Dick, you've been in this situation as a coach. What do you tell your team when it looks like a mismatch on paper? I tell you what, when you're the underdog, you got to come out and play with such fire. you got to simply tell them upsets happen when a three-star player plays like a five-star player, plays with intensity, emotion, and passion. The Tar Heels are looking to make this one a blowout early. What are the keys for them tonight, Dick? Yeah, on a night like this, the keys are pretty simple, Brad. First, get the ball inside for the high-percentage shot. That'll open up the outside game as well. Next, take care of the ball on offense and play aggressive perimeter defense. And lastly, don't get away from what got you here on defense. Don't try and do too much defensively. I couldn't agree more with you, partner. Let's get down to the court and join the action. That's basic. Jarrett receives the ball. He stays in control until they regroup the offense. On the dribble, gives it up. Boy, terrible execution on offense. Both teams looking to get things going here. Patience with the ball as the offense regroups. Way out on top, controlling the ball. There's the trap. Looking for a screen on top and got it. The number 22 was a top recruit coming out of high school. Personally, I can't wait to see how he's going to develop. I'm happy that he's played out his eligibility rather than jumping to the pros. That's what you want from your top star recruits. And he's going to pick up the foul and all oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. They're working around the arc. And up, con Ooh, look at the shot block, but he got some contact. Nice hops. The student section is all rallied up, and they are ready to battle. They want to win just as bad as anyone else in the building. With plays like that, you need instant replay. Try to go inside. And they do. They got on the low block. Up fake. And he'll kick it back outside. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. He hits the tough shot. I'll tell you, he's not going to nail with ease, Brad. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Way off target. Gave it up. The Tar Heels have a mismatch in the post. You're right, Brad. There is a mismatch. North Carolina is showing a bit of a run here. Things are going their way right now. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Foul charge. Oh, and you talk about a happy group of fans. Listen to this crowd. Oh, there's all kinds of people standing and cheering and going wacky. Now trying to feed the low block. The skip pass is picked off. They work it around the perimeter. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. Trying to feed the low block. He squares up down on the low block. I tell you, teach your player to face up to get in triple threat position. You can drive, shoot, or you can pass. Down inside. Obvious foul. High post flashes for the opportunity. On the dribble, gives it up. Nick, I think there's a mismatch in the post. It's definitely a mismatch. Let's take a look at that last hoop.
Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Great steal. I think the pressure was just too much. Tremendous pressure, just enough to force the steal. The center is going crazy. Welcome to Chapel Hill, baby. Lobs it inside, trying to draw the foul. Basket falls despite the contact. They go into the low block. He went for the steal in the post, and he missed it, Dick. Oh, I'll tell you one thing. What a poor job defensively. He gambled. Gave it up. Pressure that basketball. They strip him in the basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there. He launches a three. Off the rim and no good. Showing maturity by waiting for the O to regroup. The power forward handles the feed. Nice to have you along with us tonight. Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews alongside. I'm Brad Nessler. we got a good one going. Strips the ball. Look at speed. I tell you, man, there's nothing like having athleticism and quickness. Dick, a great battle down in the low post, but I think the off. I love that block shot, Brad. Really gives you a lot of momentum. Garrett receives the pass from the baseline. It'd be nice if he could get some assistance out there. That young man is doing it all for his team right now. He's getting it done out there, Brad. They'd be in trouble without him. Wall handles the pass. Good job defensively. They just won't give him any openings. Pressure in the basketball. Both teams are looking to get something going here. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. On the inside. He makes a nice shot fake. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. You betcha. job to create the angle using the glass. There's a bad pass right to the defender. He keeps his dribble as they reset. He bombs from outside. Makes the shot. Of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. In and out. Drops the bucket despite the harm. On the dribble, gives it up. He up fakes. Tries to turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. High post player flashing. alley -oop. And the ball goes out of play. Oh, that's going to be a costly turnover, Dick. I tell you, turnovers can absolutely destroy a team. Good spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. On the outside. Moving it around the perimeter. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. The 
They'll work it around the arc. Duncan is feeling good. And you know what, Brad? I'm excited for him. He's putting on a performance. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. It's ridiculous in here. The center is going mad. Welcome to Chapel Hill, baby. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Fakes a jumper. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Now they're working around the perimeter. On the top of the circle. He's good for another score. Hands in his face. Anytime now, boys. Gave it up. Here's a double team. Looks at the three. Way off target. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Pump fakes. He tries the three ball. Off the rim and no good. Roth draws the personal. Let's check in with Erin Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Erin. The crowd is enjoying this close one. The fans are just waiting for the favorites to pull away. But will it happen here tonight? Thanks, Erin. Gets the first shot. They've got a three-point shooter spotting up. They work it around the perimeter. He takes the three. The Tar Heels have found a player who cannot seem to miss, Dick. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. the high pick coach looks on focused a lot of intensity a lot of emotion both teams looking to get things going here the center has gone wild welcome to chapel hill baby look at that spacing he was guarding him tightly, and then he went for the steal. An unsuccessful attempt resulting in a personal foul. Hey, defenders must be confident they're going for a steal. If not, it will often end up with a personal foul. Here's a flash from the post up high. On the dribble, gives it up, and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Isolated on the outside, they work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper. The ball goes out of play. He's got a high post flasher. Oh, poor job. Poor job offensively. If I'm coaching, he's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. <laughs> he's pounding the ball in the deck. Where's he going? Here's the three ball. Charleston Southern are on a nice little run at the moment. Hey, they're to keep pushing and seeing if they can force a timeout. On the outside. Entry pass in the paint. He got the dunk to go plus the foul. Hey, I applaud this young man for taking this kind of punishment in the year, Brad. Isn't that something? 
something. He wants these fans to get pumped up and get excited. He wants the roof to pop off this arena. My goodness. And he's getting what he wants. This is what I love to see. The energy, the emotion, and passion, baby. Free throw is good. Look out. Defender nailed by a screen. Stolen away. He's trying to see if there's an easy one out there. There was no doubt about that one. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. For the bucket. Perfectly executed. He can't keep going for those steals. It's really hurting his team right now. Gave it up. Takes the pass in the paint. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. He sinks another basket. What are they going to do with this guy, Dick? I don't know, Brad, but they better do it quickly. Got to think right now. Got to focus defensively. Didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. Working it around the perimeter. From the top of the circle. He can't miss. And this young man's feeling it, Brad. Dickey really seems to be getting great position down there in the low block. Yeah, he really is gaining position because he gets the good angle, and they also have the good entry from the wing. The student body appears to be pumped up, and they are ready to explode. They're rocking right now. My goodness. He tries to knock down the three. He hits a bullseye again. Hey, he's feeling it from everywhere, baby. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. They work the perimeter. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Defensively low block. Oh, nice job fronting him for the steal. A uh, terrific job creating the opportunity. I think really converts an offensive transition. Way off target. Hey, this crowd will be ecstatic if they can get a basket. Way out on top, controlling the ball. A whistle and a foul. The coach not happy on the sideline. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. They'll work it around the arc. The ball goes out of bounds. Here's a nice face up down on the low block. Oh, he did a great job face up and then just attacked them and took it to the basket. For two. I love the sky hook. You cannot block that shot. He gets that ball in deep. Hey, Brad, why don't more guys use it? This place will be in complete chaos if this defense can get a stop right here. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific. There's a nice block from behind, Dick. Yeah, that's good timing for the defense. Defensively down on the low block, and there's a steal. A terrific job anticipating, reading the offense, and making that steal. That was a high post screen. Goes to the lane. He unloads off the rim, and no good. the perimeter from the baseline way off target 
North Carolina are on a nice little run at the moment, partner. You have to remember, solid defense leads to good offense, which is what we're seeing right now. Moving it around the perimeter. Entry pass in the paint. He puts it in with contact and all. Pass down low. There's a drop step. And oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step. Very slow. Here's a nice face up down on the low block. Oh, he did a great job face up and then just attacked them and took it to the basket. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. The center takes the pass in the paint. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork, beating him to the spot. Pump fakes. Tries for two. I love the sky hook, especially when you get great post position on the interior. And the ball goes out of bounds. Things are going well, and it's going well for the school mascot, too. I tell you, I love those mascots. They put so much enthusiasm and energy in the win. He goes up strong, and that's going to be an offensive foul. Oh, great call by the official. He beat him to the spot. That's essential defensively. Problem with that, when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you've got to get help because you've got to see ball, man. That's essential when you play on there and you're fronting. And he scores despite the hack. In the paint. There's the fake. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Whoa, not a good decision to take that shot. Yeah, I'm not sure what he was thinking there. For the bucket, Charleston Southern are putting together a pretty good run here. Execution's been the key, baby. the dribble gives it up fakes the shot they go inside and now back outside I tell you inside outside action always works shoots it he has taken his team completely out of this game these young guys have to remember to let the game come to you don't force the action number 22 takes it away Looking for a good shot. And there's a lazy pass. It's stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? Shot clock is dead. And a momentary look from three-point land. Perfectly executed. Backcourt violation called. A little bit of a mental lapse by the offense that time, Dick. <laughs> Working it around the perimeter. He shoots from the baseline. The Tar Heels have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. That is on fire. The end of the first half. The Tar Heels lead by three. North Carolina had an awesome first half shooting the ball, Dick. Can we expect more of that in the second half, you think? Hey, with the composure they're showing on the floor, Brad, I wouldn't doubt it. This is a very methodical team. 
Well, Dick, we kind of expected that battle between David and Goliath, and that's what we saw in the first half. What do you expect in the second half? They're really going to have to really, really regroup and come out with some fire and get some momentum. It's essential they go on a spurt to get some confidence. If they don't get a spurt, hey, Brad, you got all your material ready? Because we're going to have to hit and talk about everything, baseball, basketball, football. Hey, who's going to win the Super Bowl? Dick, when I see those types of things, I just get chills. It's crazy in here, Brad. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Pass down low. There's a drop step. And oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step. Very slow. Oh, what a strip, Rad. Puts it up, looking for contact. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. The defender is still applying great ball pressure, Brad. Perfectly executed. The Buccaneers are behind by seven. to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in and a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Up and inside. Steals a pass. The Smith center is in complete chaos at the moment. Takes the shot. They let him get into a rhythm. For a good shot. Jumps into the defender. He drains the bucket. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Well, guys, the battle in the paint has played a major factor in this game and is probably some of the reason why they have this lead. If things don't change in a hurry, this game could get ugly, guys. Aaron's right about that. I'll tell you one thing, she's essentially right. Down in the post is where you create a lot of offensive action. And now they'll bring it up. Steal. And now with a power move on the inside. Did a great job protecting the basketball, seals the defense off, and explodes to the basket. Not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. I tell you, just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. The Tar Heels have got to continue to get him the ball. They need to keep feeding him the ball. It's simple. He intercepts it. Had a guy in the post, but elected to reverse the ball. Picks off the lazy pass. Turnover. Great job knocking the ball loose then and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. They work it around the arc. The offensive guy now is gaining position down there on the low block, Dick. I tell you, he gained big time position by getting the good angle, the good arm entry, had the real extension. From three point land, knocks it down. Double team now, bad angle. Stolen ball. Look at that spacing. Gave it up. From way outside. The Buccaneers have found a player who cannot seem to miss Dick. That he's on fire. Great defensive play. Anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. Yeah. 
Dickey's working on that low block on that right hit. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. Picked out of the air. Moving it around the perimeter. Tries one from three-point land. Off the rim and no good. And the ball goes out of play. And that's one too many turnovers. Yeah, those turnovers are really a nightmare, especially when they lead to layups. Takes the pass in the paint. On the dribble, gives it up. He's going nowhere. Going Ball nowhere. stolen. It's going the other way. That's where it's going. Turnover city, baby. You gotta eliminate those turnovers. They work it around the perimeter. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Nice little jam right there, the one-hand jam and stump. Little showtime, little pizzazz. Get out the mustard. Now they work it around the perimeter. He missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle. Was locked it out of the box. He gets that one to fall. <laughs> Definitely a foul. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. Kicks it out. Trying to come up with a steal, and they do. The kick out, number 22, is pounded on his way up. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. A chance for two. Good. Two at the charity strike. Tries for two. Basket falls despite the contact. They've got a player spotting up on the three. For the bucket, perfectly executed. Takes away the pass. They work the perimeter. And the shot blocks. sucker out of the game, man. Dick, they really need to get something going in a hurry here. Yeah, call a timeout and get your boys into the game, Brad. Up and inside. Tries to turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. And they get the turnover. Hammers it down. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. And he tries to spin away and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot.
Here's the offensive drop step and a low block, but better defense. I'll tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. Controlling the ball. For two, North Carolina have gotten themselves into a bit of a rhythm on offense, Dick. They're really on a nice run right here. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. Ball was knocked loose, but the offense got it back. Looks at a three. He gets the bucket to fall. Entry pass in the paint. There's a double team waiting there. Makes it. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. I just love the history that goes along with their basketball program. The past greats, the championship years, the jerseys, the banners. Really, Dick, that's what this sport's all about. They have a strong history, which is part of the reason why they attract talented players. Good job defensively. They'll work it around the arc. Stolen away. He attempts the jump hook. Doesn't go. He'll kick it back outside. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. Looking for a good shot. Tries to get the D to bite. Number 50 with the fake. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. North Carolina have put together somewhat of a run here. Maintaining it is the key, though. They've got to continue to make the hustle plays at both ends of the court. On the inside, Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Number 22 makes a great move to draw the foul. All right, let's check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, guys, as you know, it all comes down tonight to getting the stops and executing on offense, and that's what we've seen all night long. Drained it. That's a nylon NBN. There's the trap. In the paint. Gets the ball and now faces his man down to the low block. Oh, very aggressive player once he got up in the face up position in the post. Executed. The Tar Heels lead by 14. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I'll tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. Time to pick up the defense here now. Unloads a three. He gets it to go. Here's 
Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Oh, Screener took some punishment setting that pick. Gave it up. From right of the circle. North Carolina are on a bit of a run. Let's see how long they can keep it on, Brad. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Steals the pass. On the dribble, gives it up. He rejects it. Here's a spin down to the low. And one. Are you kidding me? Hey, he threw that down with authority, baby. Make a statement, young man. Make a statement. Look at this, Mr. Nestler. Here's a little something for the opposition. That, to me, is a no-no. At the foul line. They have found their stroke at the stripe tonight, Dick. This has always been an excellent free throw shooting bunch. Gave it up. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I tell you, good close play because the footwork was excellent. So many guys walk, lift their pivot foot. He does a great job showing ball, ball fake, and good footwork, keeping his pivot foot down. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Dump it inside. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post-defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. The Smith Center is in complete chaos at the moment. For the bucket. I tell you, uses the ball really well, too, in terms of putting it to the deck, turns, spins. He's got every move in the book. Gets the ball and now faces his man down in the low block. Oh, very aggressive player once he got him in the face-up position in the post. Look at that spacing. Has a nice look at the basket. He lets it go. He makes the shot. He unloads. That's good. Top of the circle. Dickie simply on fire. Hey, call the fire department, baby. This one's burning up. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. They say, forget about it. And then he does a little dribbling act here and turns it over. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Here they come now on a turnover. For two, perfectly executed. On the dribble, gives it up. The ball goes out of play. Dick, we're gonna look here at the front court players and how they're performing. Who can dominate the paint is the question, Mr. Nestler. Sometimes the bigs get lost with all of the guard play, but to win consistently, you need to have a balanced attack inside and outside. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. On the 
outside. Turn around jumper. Way off target. I think that's why college basketball has the following it does, Dick. People from all over town and throughout the campus come and enjoy themselves at these games. Brad, it's rocking and rolling in here, baby. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. He gets that ball in the low block and immediately goes with a shot. Momentary look from three-point land. Intercepted. Working it around the perimeter. There they come with a double team to stop it. Turnover City, that will always really negate any offense. Coming. The athleticism in some of these kids, Brad, I'll tell you, it's incredible. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. This whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. For the bucket. Dick, they're ripping up the nets tonight. Hey, they're definitely shooting the ball well tonight. Great execution by these boys. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. Gave it up. Dick, a great battle down in the low post, but I think the offense is gaining ground here. Yeah, he's getting great inside position. Has the great angle. He's got him set up perfectly for a basket. They got the 45-degree angle, which is essential when entering the ball to the post. Ten seconds on the shot clock. Puts up the tray. He is just lighting it up, Dick. He's beating his man to the spot and hit the shots, Brad. Tempo of the game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. Well, Dick, this is unbelievable. I didn't expect this. I think they should have won, and they couldn't find a way to get anything done tonight. Yeah, they really want to get to the locker room, post the W, and move on. And they do it because, number one, they're unselfish. They share the lock, baby. They know how to give it up. They always make that one extra pass that leads to that extra good shot. Wow, Dick, let's check out that State Farm drive of the game. Hey, what a great move, Brad. He was able to find an opening and finish at the basket. That's a great finish. Highlight material, baby. North Carolina wins in an absolutely humiliating blowout. With the difference in these two teams' rankings, the win was pretty much a foregone conclusion. So for Dick Vitale and Eric Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.